G'day folks, welcome to an OCC Queensland Daily Weather Wrap today, the 3rd of March 2023. My name is Chris Nitzo. This update brought to you by TownsvilleSheds.com, our major sponsor. Check them out if you're in the market for a shed safe accredited shed. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a tro another tropical cyclone, Kevin. Kevin's intensified fairly quickly today. He's a Category 3 marginal, low end Category 3, but is a on an intensifying trend and will track in a general southeasterly direction and will make direct contact with some of these southern islands of Vanuatu and pass just to the west of the capital Port Villa. If we take a look at the GFS ensemble here, we can see 7 a.m., 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m. You can see the system gradually shifting southeastwards as we go into 7 p.m., 10 p.m. This is Queensland time, by the way. 1 a.m. and 4 a.m. You can see it exiting the uh, the southern or hitting directly the southern islands over the uh, overnight period and then pushing off uh, to the southeast away into the graveyard as we push into tomorrow morning. So that's our low pressure system. That's our tropical cyclone, I should say. Kevin and that's where he's expected to make landfall is around these southern islands he will get close enough though definitely getting close enough to impact these northwestern and western islands as well including the capital Port Villa you can see looking at the structure of the system that it's packing most of its strongest winds on the eastern side of the circulation as we push into 1 p.m. and 4 p.m. you can see that eastern edge of the circulation gets very close to the capital and uh, that eastern edge eye wall gets very close to the capital and this is the time and the period of greatest winds over the greatest amount of people is that period between 4 and 7 p.m. as the system starts to push away the winds will decrease around the capital by about 10 p.m. Uh, start to decrease at least anyway. But you'll notice that the, that the centre of the system's uh, circulation is pushing much closer to these southern islands and will eventually make direct contact with the southern islands. And that means that the really uh, strong aspect, the wind aspect associated with the eye wall extends a fair way away from the centre of circulation. So that's likely going to mean that some of our strongest winds will be experienced by some of these southern islands, even if the eye hasn't hit them directly. But we do expect a direct contact of the eye in one of these southern islands of Vanuatu. Thankfully, the eye is expected to not make direct contact with, uh, with the main island of Vanuatu, but we are going to see that period uh, this afternoon, 1 p.m., 4 p.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. That period in there is where we're going to see some of our strongest winds over the more populated section of the island nation. And you can check out what those winds are in knots in the colour scale below. Not just the wind, but there's substantial rainfall to be had, particularly on our main islands. Uh, some of the western and northern islands up here, uh, possibly also seeing some pretty strong, uh, some pretty heavy rainfall. And then, of course, our southern islands as we progress into the nighttime hours and then into early tomorrow, we see substantial rainfall around our southern islands as the system pushes away. But a gradually intensifying trend, which is unfortunate, uh, and uh, quite clearly there a direct impact on the southern islands and even the indirect impact on the main island is still going to create very strong winds associated with the eye wall on the eastern side. Remember the eastern side is the strongest side of this cyclone. Right that's it for that area. We do hope folks stay safe and hopefully help can be on its way from as early as tomorrow as things fine up fairly quickly once that cyclone moves away. All right, across Queensland, lots of heavy rain out in the far western parts of the state. There's a severe weather warning for heavy rainfall around northwest Queensland and parts of the Gulf Country. That would that severe weather warning will gradually extend northwards, I suspect, as a low pressure system across the NT starts to push in a northerly direction and a trough associated with that low also pushes northwards. Outside of the heavy rainfall here, We've got a lot of light rain coming off the convective top. So as these storms build, the tops of them get pulled away to the southeast. And you can see a little bit of light rain here on radar. Most of that may not even be hitting the ground, but there will be some light falls in that area. Around southeast Queensland, we've got southeasterly winds that are getting established across this coastline. And just on the leading edge of those, there's a slight increase in winds. No, sorry, slight, slight increase in showers. I'll get it right soon. And we can see a significant amount of shower and thunderstorm activity around the Cape and Northern Gulf Country. That's pretty, uh, Northern Gulf of Carpentaria. That's pretty normal for this time of year in a fairly active monsoon flow. 
So you can see this morning those South Easterlies getting established around the South East coastline. You can see our low located in the Northern Territory tracking itself north in a north to north easterly direction. And we can see the monsoonal flow here. Northwesterlies starting to ramp up a little bit too across the Northwestern Cape and the Torres Strait. So South Easterlies coming up the coast. Northwesterlies in the far north. Guess what's going to happen up here somewhere later on in the weekend? Yep, your guess hopefully was rain. And that is what it's looking like as we get into the weekend across northeast Queensland. So northwesterlies coming up from the south or coming down from the north, southeasterlies coming up from the south, and of course there's going to be some fireworks in northeast Queensland later on down the track. If you don't want to wait until we cover it on Sunday and Monday, head over to join.ozcyclonechasers.com.au. We're already talking about it in our subscription service. So head on over there if you're interested in supporting our work. Right, so from a rain perspective, what can we expect across the state over the next 24 hours? Well, just an increasing amount of shower and possibly even some isolated storm activity around the northeast interior. You can see a few showers around the southeast coast, adjacent hinterland areas and uh, developing across the central eastern interior as well. You can notice that our heaviest falls of rain expected in the Gulf Country, northwest Queen, and around the Cape York Peninsula area, both in the northern, southern and central Cape York Peninsula, but away from the east coast of Queensland's uh, northeastern section. So the expectation today is our strongest and heaviest rainfall potential in that area between Townsville and Mackay, just inland of the coastline, uh, around the Cape Gulf areas, and also some isolated convection around the eastern interior and the eastern hinterland areas further southwards. Southeastly winds beginning to dominate means that we're going to start to stabilise that area area in southeast and central eastern Queensland. Overnight tonight we're expecting to see lots of showers, lots of storms, lots of places with some light uh, patch, patchy rain across the northern interior and northwestern parts of the state. The Gulf Country looks to be the focus of overnight convection and so too the western half of Cape York Peninsula. Also interestingly we've got a nice little uh, convergence band going through Cape Melville to Cooktown. That section of coastline could see an enhancement of rainfall overnight into early tomorrow. You'll also start to notice there's a few showers that start to creep up on the north tropical of the Herbert Burdekin coastline as these little northeasterly winds start to collide with these southeasterlies coming up the coastline. So a few showers around Mackay and a few showers around towns all overnight tonight into early tomorrow. So get set for them and those are going to increase tomorrow. And rainfall between now and 10 o'clock tomorrow, I would uh, uh, not be totally keen on seeing that sort of significant rainfall around the central eastern interior region, but we will see some local moderate falls around there. We can see southeasterly stream showers here impacting southeast Queensland. Lots of showers and possible isolated thunderstorms around northeast Queensland and uh, lots of showers around the Mackay coastline overnight or early in the morning. You can see significant rainfall inland of in northern Queensland and then the more significant rainfall of the entire state around the Gulf Country far northern parts of northwest Queensland and western, western parts of Cape York Peninsula. Thanks for watching. Talk to you tomorrow.